So there is a prophetic voice in vulnerability there is. and weakness. I wonder if you could tease out some of what you mean by that. What is it for the weak and the vulnerable and the oppressed to be a prophetic voice? Well, of course, I think the paradigmatic form of that is you see in Jean Vanier's La Arche Homes, mm. where uh, those that are mentally disabled are claimed as friends in a manner that um, you have the upbuilding of an alternative community that um, has a gentleness that attracts, in a way, a few other um, instances do. This is, the, uh, this is a paradox. It's to say that there is power in weakness. There, well, I think you don't become weak to be weak. Uh, rather, the language I would prefer is you discover how to be gentle. Mm. Um, and there's a hardness to gentleness. Mm -hmm. that, there's a hard edge. Uh, that makes it possible um, to not be overwhelmed by the violence, but the refusal to let the violence defeat our ability to be friends. Hmm. Hmm. And gentleness is, I think, crucial for friendship. Yeah. Can you say a little bit more about the kind of gentleness that you're thinking? Is it an, is it an embodied relationship? Well, Jean yes. Vanier speaks provocatively about, uh, about I guess, the, the beauty uh, th that can be shown in that kind of friendship you describe. Well, um, Jean, Jean's a tough guy. Uh, he's not going to let anyone run over his friends. Hmm. So the gentleness that he is, I mean, it exudes, is a gentleness that is formed by those friendships in a way that will um, call into question those that would not have his friends exist. Mm -hmm.